What is up everyone? We are back with some Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis news and updates. We got just some quick little things here. Uh, first things, uh, there's an ongoing issue with uh, purchasing products, at least there was. Supposedly the issues have been resolved. Uh, there was various issues including an error which occurred when purchasing products such as Blue Crystals. Um, they announced that at 10, 10 a.m. and by 10, 30 p.m. Uh, they had it in theory resolved. Uh, so for those of you who are you know, our purchasers who are helping to keep this game alive, you should be good to go now. And again, we do thank you. Uh, some people get salty over the, you know, about the whales and the krakens and even the dolphins and whatnot. But again, you guys are the ones that help keep this game going. So thank you. Uh, I'll come back to the update here in a second. Apple Australia. This sucks to our Australian players. Uh, due to App Store guidelines, they've had to change the app rating from 12 plus to 15 plus. Therefore, Players under the age of 15 will not be able to use this service after the version 1.15 update. So that kind of sucks for them, but uh, again, it's, you know, laws. You gotta follow guidelines, right? Final thing here. So we have the update here for 1.15. Let's talk about what's changing here. First off, Guild Battle additional equipment screen power. Uh, there was an issue with the Guild Battle party formation screen when using the auto formation that the additional equipment totals were not affected. That's been resolved. The weapon boost ability potency. There was an, an issue with uh, boost ability potency in the healing effects and they were getting higher healing than we should have been. That has been fixed. Uh, status of resolutions for other known issues will be added to the known issues notice as they become available. Uh, details of each event will be posted at a later notice. This is also for event preparation. My guess is this, this is a pre, probably a pre first anniversary thing. We'll see. Uh, reduced memory load during battle. The degree to which memory load is re reduced during battle has been adjusted depending on the game environment settings. By reducing memory load further than the traditional low setting, we have improved it to reduce the risk of crashes. Uh, so hopefully this will lessen those of you who are dealing with crashes. We'll see less of that get a new app icon and resolution of minor issues uh, so my guess is a lot of this is gonna be in prep for uh, first anniversary guys because first anniversary is in like what three weeks two and a half weeks something like that am I right in that let me let's double check that so uh, ever, crisis. ever crisis was released September 7th so yeah we are what so 11 18 days away so um, I, I won't be shocked if they do like a pre-anniversary launch type thing where uh, we get like a small event that leads up to it. Uh, like I remember like Final Fantasy Record Keeper, they used to do uh, realm draws they called it Luck of the Realms or there's realms on parade um, and each realm would be featured. You get a special like half draw or something like that uh, for your gotcha chance. Um, Maybe they'll do something like that for this. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but uh, it's a good way to make some money, some quick money. So I think they would be dumb to not do some type of uh, pre-anniversary launch to get people hyped up for it and to hopefully bleed some more crystals out of people so that way they spend more when the actual anniversary gets here. Uh, again, I was kind of hoping to have some more blue crystals by the time we hit there. I still have to do the uh, new Crisis Core story. So I got some blues there to get. I still have to go into the battle tower and finish some stuff in the battle tower. Uh, I haven't done floor 90 on or 25 on for the other ones. Um, so I got some blues to get there. Not a lot, but there's enough there that I can get at least I think another like pull maybe two. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. Uh, don't forget also about the high wind updates. You are able, able to upgrade the high wind even further. Uh, we can now, I think it's go up to 90. Yep, go up to 90. I'm up to 71. So we'll, we'll see what happens. So we're going to call that one here, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, if you do like what you see, if you'd like to drop that like, comment, or subscribe if you're not already, that'd be absolutely amazing. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you in the next one.